Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Five Questions with the Paulists. I'm Mike Hayes. Today, we're going to go down to the wonderful state of Florida and Regina Conklin of the Paulist Associates in Florida is with us. Hey, Regina, how are you? Hey, great, blessed, excited. Great, thanks for joining us. And hey, right off the bat, question one, uh, what's one way that the associates down in Florida have had to get creative throughout all this COVID time? Well, uh, primarily Zoom. Our meetings have been through Zoom, although I have met up with Sue O'Brien in person at lunch. Um, that's probably the biggest thing and been taking advantage of anything the Paulist fathers put out there, their little celebrations, some of the, I think one of them was actually called a retreat. So I tried to take advantage of a, much of that virtual, the Paulists are so good with the media uh, experience. So, and one of our members moved to Jacksonville. So Zoom is really the only way <laughs> right now we all of, all the few of us can, can get together. So definitely creative, mostly Zoom and the telephone. Cool. And question two, you know, you're a musician, you've written a bunch of original songs and you, you sing in care facilities, you've been doing this for a while. Tell me a little bit about how, how faith plays a role in, in all of your music work. Oh my goodness. Um, it's, it's a direct link to the Holy Spirit. I, I am learning to read music, um, but I didn't read music. I was a, a singer in choir. Um, so I had a feel for it. Um, and uh, in, in 2000, um, I just got this call. It was right related to Isaiah 711, ask for a sign. And um, so I kept asking God for signs and I, we, we had many arguments. I actually told God I would not do it, um, write music. And he said, you will. And a dear friend of mine said, your job is to obey. And I'm like, what? Okay. <laughs> you know, um, so little by slowly with, you know, some willingness and a lot of Holy Spirit, um, I was taking drum lessons at the time, but then I moved over to the drum teacher's best friend, who has been my partner since 2006. So this started in 2000. 2000. Um, then uh, just little by slowly, um, a lot of the music is scripture based. Um, you know, the, the, the passion of our Lord Jesus was arise. The first album we're right now, we're working on the books of Act, the book of Acts, a double rock album. Um, so, <laughs> so that's that's a lot of fun. But my my partner is um, um, plays like fifteen instruments, you know. So and along the way, I've had a little gig band that was again nursing homes. We played at some retreats, a couple of masses um, for groups. It it's it is all the Holy Spirit. I cannot get confused and think that any of this comes from me. And when I tell people that, they're like, what? Unless, unless you get it, unless you have that relationship that the Paulists are so famous for, um, that intimate relationship with the Holy Spirit, it's literally like plugging into a wall socket and just receiving. At one point, I had to ask the Holy Spirit to slow down. I couldn't keep up. Um, yeah. <laughs> So it's, 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 it's great. Yeah. And learn, learn in the ukulele so I can accompany myself now. Didn't have that before. Cause I don't have a band. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so question three, uh, tell me about your experience in the Holy land. I heard you had a quite a profound experience when you were there. Oh my goodness. Yes. Um, we went twice. Um, my husband is a, a convert, um, to Catholicism. And um, we went to Rome and he got that experience. But with the, with the Paulists, we, we went twice. On our bucket list, it was always to go to the Holy Land for both of us. And so both in 2018 and again in 2019, we went. So we went with Father Rich Andre. Uh -huh. And then we went with uh, Father uh, Bruce and Father Tommaso for the second time. So there were two very different experiences. One was, I mean, 14,000 steps one day, one of the people, you know, recorded on their device with Father Rich. But with Father Bruce and Father Tommaso, things were, you know, 
and it was revisiting for us. I mean, it was, it really is the Bible alive. And my, uh, my husband had a, a profound um, spiritual experience at the, um, at the actual place where um, Jesus was, was crucified there in the church of the Holy Sepulchre. So um, it was, it was, and I had music in my head, you know, the whole, the whole time. <laughs> It was it was wonderful, and we were so blessed not only to be able to go once, but to go twice, and with three different Paulist fathers. I mean, it was it was wonderful. It was I, he tells everybody they should go. <laughs> three Paulists to travel with too. It's mm -hmm. a it's a three three great Paulists to travel with also. Oh oh my goodness yes, um, we had I had met them. I think I've met all of them at one point in time and virtually or in person, various, you know, activities over, over time. <laughs> yeah. So, and so question four throughout the pandemic, uh, what's been your favorite comfort food uh, to kind of help get you through? Well, I, I eat really clean. Um, so Healthy food is my comfort food. I mean, the, the thing that I could say that I started eating during the pandemic is a brown, brown rice cake with cottage cheese and a natural fruit spread because it's crunchy. I mean, I'm having two of those almost every day. Um, <laughs> so uh, I, it's funny that I've been having those almost every day. Yeah. Oh. And finally, our favorite question, question five, you're on a desert island, you have the scripture with you. What's another book that you need to take with you? Well, besides how to survive on a deserted island, <laughs> I, I actually looked that up. I've watched some survivor shows, um, but I have, that's not a book, you know, I've ever read. But I think you were looking for something else. Um, for St. Nicholas Day, I got. Oh, that's my Jesus, favorite. My favorite. Of by uh, Father James Martin. So I am revisiting <clears throat> our adventures <laughs> times two in the Holy Land reading this. I'm just started into it. And I, I would really not like to leave it home um, if I was stranded on you know, on a desert island. So it's, 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 uh, it's I'm really enjoying it. Yeah. yeah. I've read that myself. It's an amazing book. Um, Father Jim, as you know, uh, I think is a parishioner at St. Paul, the apostle. He lives right around the corner from St. Paul, the apostle church with the Jesuits. Okay. And, uh, live right, they're right coming. across the street from Fordham. So uh, they have ah. residents nearby. <laughs> So they, they regularly will come to St. Paul the Apostle as parishioners when they're not saying mass somewhere else. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, we've been able to visit a couple of times to St. Paul the Apostle. So that's also feels like a pilgrimage. <laughs> exactly, right? And so Regina, thanks so much for joining us. This has been great. Um, keep up your good work with the Paulist Associates in Florida. Well, thank you very much. Many blessings. Bye-bye. This has been Five Questions with the Paulist Fathers. I'm Mike Hayes. She's Regina Conklin at the Paulist Associates in Florida, and we'll see you all again soon.